Pupils and teachers of the Sohum Experimental Cluster of Schools risk contracting diseases from insanitary conditions. The school community is sited close to a dam site. The Suhum cluster comprises three primary and two junior high schools with enrollment of about 1,600. The cluster established in 1972 is among the best performing schools in the municipality, making it the preferred choice for many. However, hygiene is not the best. Five cubic latrines constructed more than four decades ago, seven the cluster have become obsolete. One of the cubicles is locked while the roof of the rest has deteriorated deteriorated. Doors have also dislodged from their positions. Sources close to the school said community members come to use the latrine, especially when school is not in session. The stench emanating is unpleasant. Teachers no more use the facility, but pupils have no choice. The Parents Teacher Association has been providing maintenance services on the latrine, but not anymore. They are unwilling to contribute towards any project of the school because of government free education policy. We get fin uh, financial support from the PTA levies. And as the government also says, everything is free. School is free. Everything should be free. Therefore, we are unable to levy the parents. Currently, they are also not willing to contribute. An illegal refuse dump sited close to the school further exposes the pupils to diseases. This has been a permanent dump site for neighbors for years. Smoke from the incinerated garbage, we're told, interrupts contact hours. The PTA says it has on several occasions petitioned the municipal assembly to intervene, but nothing has been done. The news team then proceeded to the assembly to seek answers. The municipal environmental health officer, although could not give timelines to address the sanitary situation, promised action. The coordinating director indicated the assembly will provide a new latrine for use by the school, but it would not be immediate. Ghana is a signatory to the United Nations Charter and it is mandated to prioritize the improvement of sanitation and water access in all spheres by 2030.